Some people have said the 675LT is one McLaren special edition too many, but after seeing it in person at the Geneva Motor Show, we're inclined to disagree. There's no question that this is going to be the most extreme car built on the monocell platform, better in every way than the 12C and comparable with the 1997 F1 GTR longtail that it's inspired by. What we really loved about the car is the new chicane grey color, which showcased the McLaren Club Sport Pack, costing £5,000 extra. It brings a titanium roll hoop with four-point harnesses and a fire extinguisher. As the name suggests power from the 3.8 liter twin-turbo V8 has been bumped up from 650 to 675 PS. The 675 LT is also lighter, wider, lower and better equipped to deal with track conditions. McLaren says that one-third of all the parts have been modified, which is probably why prices will start at a staggering £259,500. The front and rear tracks have been made wider by 20mm, while the springs are not only shorter, but also much stiffer 27% at the front and 63% at the rear. From the massive front splitter to the side skirts and carbon fiber rear diffuser, every bit of the bodywork has been changed to ensure high downforce. The 675 LT has up to 40% more pushing force, which will improve handling, while a total weight reduction of 100 kg, 220 lbs, will ensure maximized agility. Thus, thanks to a 1, 230, kilo, 2711 lbs, dry weight, the 675 LT boils down to a 549 PS per ton power to weight ratio. This translates to 2.9 second needed to reach 100 km per hour, 62 mph, 0 to 200 km per hour, 124 mph, in 7.9 clicks and a top speed of 330 km per hour, 205 mph. The 650S was already a lightweight carbon fiber car, so reducing its mass even further must have been a monumental task. Just to give you an idea of what's going on here, the car's glazing alone save 4.5 kilograms with a thinner windscreen and rear bulkhead glass, and replacing the engine cover with motorsport-style polycarbonate.